How's it going guys? Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. This is part 17. So in the last part, I couldn't quite work out how to get through this. You have to blast your way through. However, I had a bit of an explore. And it turns out that there is a path that I didn't spot the first time around. But here it is. And in the path are these lovely gas tanks, which we uh, do that to, which does that. So yeah, I got a bit stuck in the last one. Couldn't work out how to get through there. Is this the right way? I would say so. Save point. Oh, hi. Nice doggy. Let's run. Oh God, he's just gonna cook me. Let's get the hell out of here. Is he dead? I don't think he's dead. No. Oh my god, there's a guy with a laser waffer too. Right, we need to get out of here. You can wear this. While I'm being cooked. Nice doggy. I'll be taking your laser waffer very soon. Out of ammo. I'll be taking it immediately then. Thank you. Let's move. <laughs> Just melt his head off. God, I love, love, love the Lazar Waffer. God, I love the Lazar Waff. Okay, so how do we get through here? away from that. Yeah, I thought that was going to do that. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to be crawling under that? Yes. And it means we Sounds can't take... Like someone is putting up a fight. We can't take the Lazo Waffle with us. Hi, friend. Just have a little explore. Make sure we're not missing anything over there. The scourge of the earth.
Sounds like somebody's... How do we get through? I want to join the fight. How do we get through? Ah, here we are. Assist the resistance. Okay, so they're the ones doing the resisting. I know you're behind there, friend. It's me, Terra Billy. So climb this ladder here. But I can't take my uh, diesel craft work with me. Go on, son. So I can hear take you. I can hear you. You a preacher? No, this Lord, Lord, I pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting himself a drink, that's my old time friend Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes. Streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kinda told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Chrysal Circle, a walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said, Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. 
Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights to your belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone and stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of cantankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, hard, and then lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terror Billy. I'm too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot old Horton special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! Oh, yeah. Can I breathe fire? Oh, I can. Let's see what this puppy can do. Alarm indeed. Just toast everything. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. You want some toast? Who's behind me? Hey, how did you get away with it? You can have that. Yeah, you know. Somebody is shooting me, though. I want to get in that thing. Right, where are we going? This way? I can't see anything. I am just cooking everything in my path. Yeah, I can see you. You can have that. And you're shooting me. This game has just turned absolutely mad. We've got Y on acid. We got Terra Billy passing out after drinking some moonshine. And now we're riding a robotic, fire breathing kind of dog thing. Can I pick things up while I'm up here? Can I get down and then get back up again? Don't look like it. Right. Should we go through here? We can't go through here. Is 
light the way. Where are we going? Back this way. What's not to love about that? Save point. Exit through the factory. Oh, sorry, I missed you. These Nazis are thinking, what the hell? Oh, okay, you're quite fast, aren't you? Shot. Oh, why you? See that thing coming around the corner right here. <laughs> Another save point. Pass through the catacombs. that over there. They can spit fireballs. <laughs>
Quite a few of them down here. He's obviously dead now. What the hell was that? Oh, you. We should go find this uh, commander. There he is. Flombe. Safe point. Exit through the lower sewers. That Dog, must be. You've been a good friend, but now you're just too damn big. God damn it! I was enjoying that. Doesn't fit, does he? The Panzerhund. Hey. Wait there for me, I'll be back. Into the water we go. Oh. I have one of these. Grenade kills 5 of 25, so I haven't done many of those. Up the ladder. up there. What exactly is that? Oh. Just a stand. Yeah, I'll take your uh, medipacks while I'm here. Not that I need them, really. There's our objective. Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William. I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Ah! Fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Now listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Now make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Kill them all. I intend to. But I'm afraid I am all out of time for this one. There's some stomping going on. But he is going to have to wait... Next stop, Lakeview District. They are going to have to wait for the next episode. There he is. 
I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I know I have. It's been a great laugh, this one. Take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.